Welcome back to the cubby house. Yes, it is so good to finally be back in the cubby house and see all of our friends again. I am so glad that everyone is here now. Wait, is everyone here? Mm, let me check. We have Rainbow Bear, Gerald the Giraffe, Sally the Sloth, you've got Charles, Pops' Penguin, Drax the Dragon, and Rainbow Unicorn. Hmm. That's not everyone. Hmm. Do you know who is missing? Yep. Pineapple! Oh, I wonder where Pineapple could be. We can't start a new series without him. That is right. We aren't looking at one book of the Bible but this time, but we're looking at a group of stories from the Bible. Yep, we will be learning different stories from the Bible that teach us what it looks like to be God's church. Each week, we're gonna look at a different big idea. And this week, we are learning that the church is sent to everyone. I even have this special picture to help us learn and remember this big idea but I don't think we can start without pineapple. How about you go look for pineapple and I'll teach our friends the big idea. But I just taught them the big idea. Yes, but I'm going to teach it to them in sign language. Oh, an excellent idea. I'm gonna go find pineapple and when I get back, I hope you can say the big idea. The church is sent to everyone in sign language. I know some of you who watch the show are deaf, so I'm really excited to show you some sign language. For this, we need three signs. The church is sent everyone. So the first one is the church. Hands like this, either side of your head. Church, good job. The second one is sent. So hold your fingers close to you here and then out they go. Hold your fingers in close, scent. Good job. And the third one is everyone. So there's people over there, and there's people over there. There's people everywhere. Cross your hands over your front, everyone. Let's see if we can do all three in a row. The church is sent to everyone. A little bit faster. The church is sent to everyone. Good job. Look who's finally back. Pineapple. Pineapple, why didn't you come to the cubby house? You didn't think you were welcome at the cubby house? Of course, you are always welcome at the cubby house. Why did you think you weren't welcome, Pineapple? He said that everyone in the cubby house is either a kid or an adult or an animal or a puppet. And he's not welcome because he is a fruit. Pineapple, everyone is welcome at the cubby house. Even if you're a fruit, a vegetable, or a nut. You're a nut. Oh, you, would you guys be able to say the sign to pineapple for our big idea? The church is sent to everyone. Not only is the cubby house for everyone, but so is the church. I think it's time we introduce our new friends, Megan and Jesse, as they will be teaching us our Bible stories. Today, we will hear about how God taught Peter that the church was sent to everyone. Hi friends, it's me, Megan, and Jesse. Jesse, I'm so excited for today's Bible story. This story is about when the gospel began going to the Gentiles. Gentiles? We have blue tiles in our bathroom. <laughs> uh, Gentiles are actually people, not a kind of tile. Gentile is a word for someone who is not a Jew. Oh, well, what's the difference between a Jew and a Gentile? 
that is a great question, Jesse. Remember the Bible tells us that Jews were God's special people, the people of Israel. God gave them special rules to follow as his special people. Oh yeah, I do remember that. Yep, but God had a plan to make Gentiles part of his special people too. They did not have to be born into a Jewish family to be God's people. Gentiles can be part of God's people simply by believing in Jesus. That's good news. Yep. Listen to this story about when a Gentile soldier and his family trusted in Jesus. Cornelius was a Roman soldier. He loved God, helped other people, and prayed to God. One day, God sent an angel to Cornelius. The angel said, Cornelius, God heard you when you prayed. The angel told Cornelius to send some men into the city to find Peter. So Cornelius sent two servants and one soldier into the city. In the city, Peter went up on the roof of a house to pray. Then Peter saw a vision. A vision is like a dream, but Peter was awake. He saw a big sheet coming down from heaven. In the sheet were all kinds of animals, snakes and lizards and birds. A voice said, get up, Peter, eat. But Peter didn't want to. He thought the animals were unclean. A voice said, God has made these clean. Peter saw the vision three times and he tried to figure out what it meant. Then the men Cornelius sent into the city found the house where Peter was staying. They told Peter to come to Cornelius' house. So the next day, Peter went with the men. When Peter saw Cornelius, he told him that the good news about Jesus is for all people, not just Jews. Everyone who believes in Jesus will have their sins forgiven, Peter said. The people there believed. Cornelius, his family, and his friends were baptized, and Peter stayed with them for a few days. God showed Peter that the good news about Jesus is for everyone. God wants believers to tell everyone the good news about Jesus, no matter who they are or what they do. Jesus is the Lord of all. What a great story about how the church is for everyone. I have a song about that. Well, kind of. I have a song about how the gospel is for everyone. Do you think we could sing that song? Yes, the church is sent to everyone. In a few weeks, we will be hearing that the church is sent to proclaim the good news of Jesus. Yes, and the gospel is the good news about Jesus. So the church is sent to everyone to share the gospel with everyone. It sure is. Why don't we head out to the garden for music time with Meg? Welcome to the garden, everyone. We have been learning about how the church is sent to everyone. And Meg has a special song for us today about how the gospel is for everyone. Follow me for the hand motions. The gospel is for everyone, everyone. Everyone, the gospel is for everyone, everyone. Whether you're tall or short, whether you're a girl or a boy, God wants you to know all about his joy. The gospel is for everyone, everyone, everyone. The gospel is for everyone, everyone. Whether you're rich or poor, whether you're old or young, God wants you to know His love's for everyone. The gospel is for everyone, everyone, everyone. The gospel is for everyone, everyone. Sing that again. The gospel is for everyone, everyone, everyone. The gospel is for everyone, everyone. 
What a great song about how the church is for everyone and the gospel in the good news about Jesus. We'll see you next week at the Cubby House. Bye. In the Cubby House.